So hey, welcome everybody. My name is Jamie Pollock. Um, company is Royal Wise. You can always find us online at royalwise.com. Uh, today's class is going to be our Mac OS All the Basics Part 1 class. Uh, this is a series of classes that we do that kind of give you the basics of the Mac OS operating system. So we're going to talk about what is that, what is the Mac OS operating system. Uh, and then this first, all the basics, we're going to be literally going over the basics from everything from how to navigate the desktop, what's the dock, um, you know, uh, printers, uh, turning it on and off even, you know, <laughs> like we're going to get as basic, uh, those sorts of things. Uh, just so you know, there is a part two coming up next week. I think a lot of people bundle these courses. And so in part two, we go a little bit deeper and we talk about the trackpad and the mouse and the magic mouse and how to do multi-touch gestures, uh, stuff like that. We talk about where did save as go and this Siri and dictation thing. And so there's a lot of more advanced stuff. And then our th third week is going to be file management. And that's one of my favorites, learning how to manage our folders and our files. Uh, and so whether you're live at the webinar or you're watching this on demand, just know that this is going to be the first in a series of three classes. So <clears throat> what is Mac OS? Let's talk about that first. So I'm going to start off with going, taking my cursor or my mouse. And that's again, this little arrow we call the cursor. I'm going to be defining terminology as we go. Uh, it may sound simplistic, but I just want to make sure that everybody's on a level playing field. So I'm going to take my mouse to move my cursor and I'm going to go all the way up to the top left corner and go here to the, what's called the Apple menu. Uh, Mac OS is a menu driven operating system. And so we are going to be looking at the menus, talking about the menus and making sure you know where to find things because that's one of the hardest things. So I'm going to come here to the Apple menu and click on it and come down to the very first option, which is about this Mac. And once I click on that, that's going to bring up this information area. And you'll notice within here, I am on the overview tab. And it can tell us about the display or the storage or the memory. We'll look at a couple others, but the overview tabs where we want to be right now. Uh, by the way, uh, sit back and watch. You don't necessarily need to keep up with me click by click. This is much better as just a sit and watch it. And later when the video is out, you can pause and test things out or whatever like that. Uh, but I do recommend you just sit back and enjoy the show uh, for this part of it. So I am on Mac OS Monterey. And so that is uh, the code name that Apple gives this operating system below it. It says version 12.1. So I want to demystify a little bit this name and number issue that's kind of been going on uh, for a long time. So we used to have OS X, and that was operating system number 10. Uh, we've had OS X for a really long time. And as we moved up the ranks, we had OS X 10.11, which was called El Capitan, 10.12 uh, Sierra, 10.13 High Sierra, 10.14 was Mojave. Uh, I even have to look at the list. I can't even remember all this. 10.15, 10.15 was Catalina. Uh, and that was the last time they had OS X or the 10th operating system. And so it was a uh, version 11, they went to Big Sur, and now version 12, they've gone to Monterey. Um, the names are just code names. Uh, right now, they're working their way through vacation spots in California. Uh, before that, there were lions and tigers, oh my, and snow leopards, and all sorts of animals, big cat animals. Um, so a lot of times, we can just say what version of the operating system are you on. You can say, I'm on Monterey. I'm going to know that means that you're on version 12. Uh, if you say you're on, uh, say, Catalina, I know you're on version 10.15. Now, also notice I'm on version 12.1, right? Or maybe uh, if you're on, you know, Catalina, you're on 10.15.6. Uh, so there can be another number at the end. Those are what we call the sub branches or the sub updates. Um, and a lot of people ask, you know, when should I update or when should I upgrade? And, you know, we'll talk about that a little bit later. Um, but one of the rules of thumbs is if you're within a branch, if I'm not moving from like 11 to 12, I'm not moving from 10, 15 to 11, and I'm just moving from like 12.0 to 12.1, then that's a fine upgrade to do. Um, you want to stay updated within the branch and or the version of the operating system that you're in. And so we'll talk more about that a little bit later. Uh, I'm on an iMac, and you notice here it tells me it's from 2013, excuse me, 2019. Uh, that's always good to know what year your computer came out. Also, my processor, my memory, and also my serial number, which is an important thing to know about. Uh, what is your serial number if you ever need to get Apple Care? The first question they're going to ask is, what's your serial number? And to remind everybody, I found this by going to my Apple menu and choosing About This Mac. And so that's how I got to this area. 
some great information here. Notice also there is a software update button in this area now. Um, some of the other operating systems, older operating systems, may not have all the same features in the same places. Uh, don't worry about it. We'll be able to translate. Almost everything I do in this class applies to almost all operating systems. This is a very generic class, uh, and most everything I cover doesn't is not operating system specific. So just be aware of that. The only other place here that I go to regularly is the storage area. And this is great that I can come here and see how big is my computer's hard drive, how much available space is left on it. Um, and also it's gonna do this little calculation and give me a vague idea of what's filling up my drive space, how much of it is being taken up by photos, uh, how much by documents, things like that. I'm gonna warn you, don't trust this. <laughs> this is not a very good tool uh, and it doesn't really give us uh, great information uh, notice this says other user, very vague, but there's more than one profile on this machine. Uh, text messages, apps, right? Uh, how big is the operating system? Then, of course, the system data and the other area are completely amorphous. We have no idea uh, what those are or what they mean. And notice that just jumped from 400 to 800 gigabytes. Um, but it does give us a little bit of an overview of the uh, hard drive uh, and what's on the hard drive. Excellent. Also, they give us this cool little manage button right here. And if I hit that, it's actually going to break it down by application, documents, mail, you know, what is on my hard drive and what's taking it up. Okay, enough of that rabbit hole. Let's get out of that area and let's get out of the about this Mac area. So we started off by talking about this Apple menu, and we're going to go through this menu pretty thoroughly today. So just know that, you know, we've got our system preferences in this menu the app stores in this menu, our force quit, our sleep, restart and shut down, and our log out. Uh, those are the main things that we're gonna go over today. Uh, but just know when I say the Apple menu, I am referring to this up here. Uh, working our way down even, uh, as I go down, this is uh, the notice it says right here, I'm in the Finder. Uh, because I've clicked on the desktop, I'm actually in the Finder right now. And then I have the File menu, the Edit menu, the View menu, the Go menu. Windows menu and the help menu. Hey, a help menu. That's probably something that we should talk about a little bit later, how to get help, uh, how to leverage the built-in help. Okay, so uh, just realize that the menu doesn't move in the uh, Apple operating system and Windows. The menu is attached to the top of the window and moves with the window. Here, that doesn't happen. So say I open up a Safari window and now the menu tells me that I'm in Safari. Okay, so that's one of the things you got to get used to is to know that this menu area right here will tell you what application is active or which application you're currently using. Uh, it gets a little tricky if I click on the desktop, the uh, menu changes to the Finder. I'm actually not in Safari anymore. I'm now in the Finder, and we'll explain that a little bit later. But if I click on the Safari window, now you'll notice the menu changes and says Safari, and I know that's the application that I'm currently in or that I'm actually using. I want you to notice about the menu also that in the Safari menu, I've got a history and a bookmarks area where when I go to the Finder, I'm going to go down to my dock. We're going to talk about the dock in a second, too, and click on the Finder here to open up a Finder window. Right now, I don't have a history or a bookmark menu because the Finder doesn't have those features. So the menu is going to change or only give us the options that that application needs. So in Safari, we need bookmarks and history but in the Finder, we don't. Uh, and I'm simply clicking on each window to move between them, uh, but I'm gonna show you some other tricks on how to move between windows, how to manage windows, how to do all that kind of stuff.